All right, so um, that's how uh, you can be uh, a part of everything that we're doing uh, right here uh, for you uh, on the show tonight. Let's dive straight into the heart of the matter, but uh, let me quickly introduce uh, my partner, starts off uh, the show uh, with me tonight, Samo Suleiman. Suleiman. Yeah, Suleiman. It's, it's a pleasure to have you uh, yeah, with us yeah. on a crucial day like this. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, uh, before I get your thoughts, um, uh, uh, Samo, we... Uh, Take a listen to um, what, uh, you know, players from the Super Ego squad, what they had to say uh, about the crucial encounter tomorrow. The man in the high of the storm, um, Ikechuku Ezenwa, uh, is going to be in goal for uh, the Super Eagles. He says they won't disappoint Nigerians. Let's listen to him, uh, and of course, we get more for you on Sports Tonight. Well, I think I have been with him for the past um, two years. Uh, welcome back. You know, let me quickly get your thoughts. Um, you know, a lot has been said about goalkeeping crisis. I don't. First and foremost, I don't know if you agree that there is a crisis. But listening to um, Ezenwa there says he won't let us down, and um, he has always hoped for this opportunity. Now he has it, and it's going to make us proud. I think everything is all about the confidence. I think the way he talks, and he's got the confidence, and I think he's going to do better. So and I wish him the best of luck. So. All right. Uh, you know, the, the coach of the Cameroonians, um, they're in town, they're saying a lot of things, and uh, you hear things like, we're more experienced than the Super Eagles, we, we, we've played more matches. I mean, a lot of confident talk coming from Hugo Bruce, the coach of the yeah. Indomitable uh, Lions. Is there anything to be afraid of uh, coming from the Cameroonians? Yeah, I think they got confidence as well, and uh, the most important thing, we got more problems wherever we play Cameroon, and I think that's one of the things that gives them more confidence. And I think we got um, Mikel Lobi, we got um, Moses, and Nazi, and with that experienced player, and I think if they put more of their uh, efforts, put more desire in the game and confidence, I think we can break through. All right, yeah. so um, from two games, yeah. um, how many points would you love the Super Eagles to have? Uh, we'll play them against the next three, four days. So from six available points, how many points would you... An ideal situation for the Super Eagles? I think every game is very, very important. Mm -hmm. The most important thing is we have to win the home game. That's first. very, very important. Put it in the back first. Yes, that's very important. And I also want to say they should put back the, uh, the South African game, should be put back in their heads. They just should forget just about it for yeah, now. Exactly. They should forget about the South African game, put the, um, try and get three points at home. And, you know, obviously we're playing away on Monday, I think. Yeah. So they should try and get that one, at least minimum draw away. So I think with that, we can excel. And, and, and if we're able to do that, we're on the road exactly. to, to, to um, qualifying. Qualifying, yeah, exactly. Right, before we travel to uh, Washington, uh, uh, Suleiman, let me quickly, um, what do you think the, the Cameroonians will try to do uh, tomorrow? They can't sit back because, of course, they need to win this win game exactly. as well. Yeah. Uh, would that play into our hands? Yeah, I think they are more physical, and that's one of the strengths they got. We, with that, we, what we need to do, we need to put all our strength. We need to be man-to-man. -man. We have to be box-to-box. -box. And I think, ma I think we also have to make sure we don't play to their pattern. Mm -hmm. So we have to... Like, take away the know, advantage they have. Exactly. We have to take the away the advantage they have and make sure we are all always put the, uh, everything we got so we get the free point. All right. So uh, just um, hold your thoughts a little. Let's quickly travel to uh, Washington. Our man, uh, Sonny Young, uh, is waiting in the wings. Uh, we're going to have this conversation with him. We're going to talk about a whole lot of things, but uh, we'll start him off uh, with uh, the Super Eagles. Let's see if we can quickly uh, do that uh, for you. Uh, and get across. Oh, that's the man, Sonny. Um, <laughs> it's good to have you join us on a crucial day um, like this. But let's just uh, go straight into it. Uh, let's go about that uh, crucial game, uh, Nigeria uh, against Cameroon. Your thoughts quickly. 
Good evening to you, Yemi, and good evening to your many viewers all across Nigeria. Yes, I'll give a shout out for the Super Eagles ahead of that big match in Uyo against the reigning African champion, Indomitable Lions of Cameroon. Uh, I like Nigeria playing at home. Uh, I know they have a young team, Yemi, but uh, I'm going to go with Nigeria to uh, take a step closer to Russia in 2018. I hope you won't put me on the spot and ask for a score, though, Yemi. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was about to do that, but okay, uh, l let me save you that. But, but let's, once again, about the game, um, what do you think wants it more? Uh, the Cameroonians, they're African champions, they're, they're behind uh, Nigeria. The coach is saying that they have more experience. I don't know if you agree with that. Yeah, I, uh, I don't necessarily agree with that. And, and I don't know if it's good on the part of Cameroon's coach to be making those type of statements uh, on the eve of such a big match. I, I think uh, the Super Eagles could maybe use that, Yemi, as a bulletin board material uh, to, you know, really to get, to get motivated and excited ahead of the game. So, yeah, we'll have to see. I know, uh, I know it's, a, it's a big cycle of World Cup qualifying matches uh, in Africa as well as all over the world. And let me just give a quick shout out, uh, Yemi, for the U.S. men's national soccer team. They'll be hosting Costa Rica on Friday night uh, near New York City, just outside of New York City. Uh, they are currently in third place in their qualifying group the uh, CONCACAF region. Uh, one player for the USA, Yemi, who's getting a lot of attention is uh, the 18-year-old for Borussia Dortmund, Christian Pulisic. In fact, uh, he made the Washington Post newspaper on Thursday. Okay. And there we can see a photo of Christian uh, in action. And the, uh, the headline for this article, Yemi, yeah. they just... They describe Christian Pulisic. There we see him in the red jersey. They describe him as the new boy king of U.S. soccer, which is uh, quite a quite a title to have. But he's definitely earning headlines, earning uh, attention, and he's been a real creative force for the uh, USA, especially in their recent cycle of World Cup qualifying matches. Uh, I like the Americans to win at home against Costa Rica and. Uh, move a step closer to Russia 2018. All right, well, well a, a quick one. Um, I hope it doesn't go the way of uh, players like Altidore, you know, a lot of American players that a lot has been said about. Uh, you're thinking the pressure will probably not be too much for Pulisic? That's a good point. Uh, in fact, uh, Coach Arena, Bruce Arena, the head coach of the USA, uh, one of the comments he made in that same article that I just showed uh, the viewers is that he's very impressed with Pulisic's uh, composure and maturity and that right now he does seem to be handling the pressure pretty well and he's been performing well also for Borussia Dortmund uh, last weekend he helped set up uh, Pierre Emmerich Aubameyang for a, a very nice goal a wonderful crossing pass by Pulisic so he's performing well at both the club level and now at the uh, international level for the USA so I think he's got a really nice future ahead of him Yemi. All right, sorry, we're, we're pressed for time, but quickly tie in um, that trade, uh, Kyrie Ivan. Um, I mean, a lot has been said about him, but uh, that move uh, has been made. And, of course, when you're done with that, you can also talk about uh, the money fights, you know. Yes. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, that trade between the Cavaliers and the Celtics was made uh, about a week ago, Yemi, but it has been held up uh, because of concerns about Isaiah Thomas's hip. Uh, the Cavaliers felt like maybe the Celtics were, were trading them damaged goods. Uh, Thomas initially had a physical with the Cavaliers, and he did not pass that physical. But they, they had some more negotiations, and the Celtics ended up sending another draft pick uh, to the Cavaliers. Uh, the two players that are the, the central piece of that trade, Isaiah Thomas now playing for the Cavaliers, and Kyrie Irving will be playing for the Celtics. Uh, also, Jay Crowder, who used to play for the Celtics, he could be a really important addition for the Cavaliers. So that's been the big trade in the NBA. Quick, quick thoughts on the Floyd Mayweather, uh, Conor McGregor fight. It looks like it's going to set uh, new records in terms of pay-per-view audience. The latest figures say more than five million people bought the fight, Yemi. 
So it's gonna it's gonna set uh, box office records. That said, it wasn't even a sellout at the T-Mobile Arena. Uh, they had about 14,000 fans at the arena for the fight. My feeling is Floyd gave McGregor the early rounds and uh, kind of extended the fight, and then he took him out in the 10th by that technical knockout. But in some ways, it, it was an exciting fight, but I think McGregor probably could have won a lot earlier okay. if, if he had chosen. All right, let, let's uh, talk about the U.S. Open, the gra last Grand Slam uh, of the year. Uh, give us your thoughts uh, on that as well. A lot of absentees um, in this year's um, Owen, but uh, you want to fancy Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal. Well, that's true. Uh, in fact, at the start of the tournament, Yemi, five of the top 11 ranked men's players were missing, uh, mainly through injury. However, Roger Federer and Rafa Nadal are uh, still alive. They're, they'll both be playing uh, later this evening in New York, and they could very well meet in the semifinals if they keep winning. On the women's side, two of the big storylines are former champions Venus Williams of the USA and Maria Sharapova from Russia, Sharapova playing in her first Grand Slam tournament since the 2016 Australian Open. Uh, some of the viewers might remember she was suspended for uh, the use of meldonium, uh, and she was suspended for quite a while. This is her first Grand Slam tournament. She's won her first two matches in New York. They're both through to the third round. So there's still some good storylines at the U.S. Open, Yemi. All right, so I want to thank you for your time. We'll do this again. Maybe next time we'll be talking about a victory for Nigeria. <laughs> thank you, Yemi, and a very good evening to all your viewers on Sports Tonight. All right. As our friend uh, from the Voice of America, Sonny Young, uh, giving us his thoughts, uh, filling us in uh, with what is uh, happening and his thoughts on the crucial game uh, between Nigeria and Cameroon. We'll go for a quick break now. When we come back, we'll shift our focus to that game that everyone is talking about, Nigeria against Cameroon, join us again.